New tonight, trying to stop vandals who are tearing apart an old school piece by piece to sell for scrap. If something isn't done about it, neighbors fear their homes might be next. So they turn to 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich to get action. Today, it was two trucks out here. You might think we were walking through a war zone, but it's really the old Marcus Garvey Academy in Detroit. Anything of value inside the school being stolen by scrappers. As a community, we can't take it no more. Alicia Adams lives nearby. She says the school has been abandoned for at least two years. And over the past few months, the scrappers have been hard at work. You could just hear a whole bunch of boom, boom, boom. Clanging and banging, uh, taking stuff out of the building. They have even knocked out walls like in the bathroom to get to the pipes, ripping out everything in sight, night and day. You mean they're actually pushing carts down, down the, the street, street yeah. in the daylight? Mm -hmm. Pretty bold. People don't feel safe and are afraid the scrappers will start robbing them. Adam says they've called police. We called the police repeatedly. So I said yesterday, I said, well, this will be my last time calling you because you guys aren't coming. And she says they've called Detroit Public Schools. They said one DPS car with one guy in there. When it's like four, I mean, they're in groups. It's like four and five of these young men that's coming up here and they're doing this. After not getting anywhere, we stepped in and called both DPS and DPD. A spokesperson from the school district released this statement that reads in part, Although the district has limited resources, it takes its responsibility to secure and maintain its properties very seriously. We are also actively working to develop partnerships with local, regional, and national organizations. And Detroit police tell us they're looking into the matter. But neighbors around here need something done sooner rather than later. They're pretty brave. They do it in the daytime, so they have no fear. From Detroit, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News.